So I'm going to replace the rear differential fluid or gear oil in a 2008 Expedition. It requires synthetic 75W140 gear oil. CRC sent me some of their Stay Lube Syngo oil for this video, which is a really great oil. I'll have links in the description where you can get it. If you have a limited slip differential, you'll need 2.125 quarts. If you have a regular differential, you need 2.25 quarts. In other words, buy three quarts. You'll know when it's full when it's dripping out of the fill hole. You can find these capacities on page 376 and 377 in your owner's manual. If you have a limited slip differential, you'll want to get an additive. To determine if you have a limited slip, you can look for the axle code on the door tag. And then look that code up online or call your Ford dealer and they can tell you. Or you can lift the rear wheels off the ground and spin them. If they both spin the same direction, it's a limited slip. If they spin in opposite directions, it's an open differential. So here's the differential. There's the drain hole. And there is the fill hole. You need a 3 8 drive ratchet to remove these plugs. I had to use a pipe on the end of this to get this one loose. Of course, have your basin ready to catch the fluid that comes out of here. If you can reach your hand over top of the plug, you'll get a lot less fluid draining onto your hand when you pull this plug out. Wow, that actually doesn't look too bad. Well, I guess it's kind of dark. New stuff will be clear. There's a magnet on the plug. You'll want to inspect that, make sure there's no large chunks of metal on there. This is a high mileage vehicle. All that is just metal powder. Nothing to be too concerned about. It's old. But clean this magnet off before you put this back in. Put some thread locker on there and tighten it down. The fill plug has a magnet on it too. More metal. Now on the Expedition there's enough room to actually pour the fluid into the differential. But you can also use hand pumps and you can also use one of these shine spout things to make it easier to pour the fluid in. These actually screw on to the top here and it makes a nice big spout for you. This is another thing that was sent to me by Shine Spout. I'll have a link in the description to these two. The shine spout makes all the difference in getting all the fluid out of the bottle and into the differential. And the last bottle you won't need much of before it starts running out of the fill hole. And that's when you stop and plug the fill hole and you're done.